Ladies and gentlemen, how are you doing today? My good microphone is not working again because uh, the drivers, my hackers. So I got to use my backup microphone. And on that note, I want to thank Ben of Suspicious Observers for finally telling people that there's going to be a hurricane this morning. I'm very proud of you, Ben. All right. So I've been telling you guys about this storm since technically July 3rd. And I said on the 5th that it had a large chance of being a major Category 3 or higher hurricane. And on the 6th, I locked it in and said this thing has potential to be one of the most destructive and damaging hurricanes in the history of history as we know it. So, we are watching, I don't even know what they're calling it now. I'm almost 100% sure the thing is going to be a hurricane strength. It is going to sit and spin over extremely hot waters for three days. As I've been saying relentlessly, this has maximum potential to do maximum damage to places like Texas, Louisiana, Mississippi, Alabama, and Florida. Because if this thing intensifies to a Cat 3 or higher, it will sit and spin massive rain bands out to multiple states and we can see that it's already starting to develop I would keep your eyes on it if you're on the Gulf I would definitely check in every six hours with your favorite local resource um, earth moves in big pulses so it'll pulse up and then pulse down and then pulse up and pulse down so we gotta stay tuned on this thing but look at how it's churning out some major rain bands some heavy flooding already we we're seeing in and this was 1916 when gas giants were on the same side we had one of the biggest july hurricanes ever and we now have gas giants on the same side and we have one of the biggest hurricanes coming ever and so this is new orleans today three and a half days away from our land falling hurricane um we definitely have a major issue I don't want to panic anybody, but, you know, New Orleans could get hit extremely hard. This could be an extremely dangerous situation for the people in New Orleans with flooding, rain, storm surge, wind causing power outages. I have a bad feeling it's going to get ugly. Um, I'm sticking with my planetary angular orbital momentum theory. And that's so I have it landing around the 13th. It'll come in, it'll hit this little marsh first, and then it'll come into Emma. That is my guess. This is where it is going. So the Mississippi River is at amazingly high levels. And so the Mississippi River is already majorly flooded. Uh, I've been covering that all year. And so this is going to, this has, this is setting up to be a major disaster. All the models are now locking in line. This is the icon. Latest versions of what I got. The icon is saying it'll make landfall on Friday. And remember, the good thing is, if uh, the sooner it makes landfall, the less chance it has for maximum intensity. This has a category one entering Louisiana. This has, this is the gem on the middle of Saturday as of basically entering the Texas-Louisiana border. This is the GFS legacy. Um, this has it going to the west. Make landfall around Alabama and Mississippi. It has a 983 pressure, which would make it close to a Category 2 hurricane. And then the GFS regular has a 989. Bring it into the big toe of Louisiana. And then the King Euro has it at almost a category two hurricane bringing it into just east of the texas louisiana border and so um i you know as i've been saying for days usually if i make 14 video this is the 15th video i've made on the storm if i make 15 videos that means it's a very serious storm under very dangerous conditions um like I said, I, I didn't, 
have any hacking problems for like two days, which was almost like a vacation. Um, I think they really thought there was not going to be a hurricane, so they supposedly gave me enough rope to hang myself with. But now again, since I pegged the storm, technically I think I was first again. I pegged it accurately pretty much the day I talked about it. Um, then I think I'm going to be having hacker problems up to the storm but it's amazing what you can figure out and what you can learn if you don't spend any energy on politics and you don't spend any energy on sports and I haven't spent any energy on a marriage or a divorce or kids I've just been hyper focused for 6.5 years on learning this stuff giving the information that I know to be the truth without any political bullshit salesman bumper sticker uh, and I've been trying to bring people together. That hasn't gone so hot. And like I said, definitely not within the truth community. It is, I mean, it is like a true uh, Thunderdome where th there are a lot of people in this group who just want to be like the number one for their team. On that note, I'd like to thank BP Earthwatch. Check out his channel. I think it's the real BP. And J7409. Uh, they've been doing excellent jobs of covering this story. It's a team group effort, and I know PP is along the coast, and I'm along the coast, and the people that, uh, I, I, I'm pretty sure BP and I have been getting shit from the same guy, and Dutch as well, they don't live on the coast, and I, uh, they really, I, doesn't get, I don't get the impression they care about people, they just care about being number one, and the best, but good luck with that, dude. Okay, so yeah, this is got major potential to be a major disaster and then if this thing sits and spins it's gonna bring heavy rain bands from Florida Alabama Mississippi and the bad news the really bad news is this means we're gonna have a worse I predicted two or more hurricanes this season and it looks like we're gonna have a worse hurricane season than I thought so we could get hit by four hurricanes this year uh, now is the time to band together. I know there are people out there who think that if we get hit by four major hurricanes, that's great, and that it'll be great for the economy. I don't think that way. Uh, I stand to protect the people, the planet, and the animals. And um, so these are just scary days indeed, and we are in the thick of it. I'll be bringing you updates as I can. Um, if you could, I'd appreciate it. If you supported my channel, I've done everything I can to bring you guys the best information. And I will be staying on this thing non-stop. Pretty much until landfall, and then I'm hoping to take a day or two off. Uh, I will be doing night shift from midnight to 8 in the morning for you guys. If you want to support me, the, the best way... I'm pretty sure it almost always gets to me is you can send it to my email address 5430 Birdwood Road, apartment 416, Houston, Texas 77096. I'll leave my PayPal link. Snail mail is always the safest. But I'm definitely going to need your help and support this hurricane season. Um, so, I love you guys. Take this very seriously. If you have family along the coast who's going to be in danger, Please tell them to stay informed. When I went to the store today, people were telling me that this thing isn't even going to be a hurricane. And so, yeah, it's going to be a hurricane, man. It's probably going to be like I, anywhere from Cat 3 and up. Cat 3 was always my feeling. So, all right, here we go. Hopefully I'll be able to edit and bring you information unobstructed. But at this point, Knowing that there are forces that are trying to obstruct me from bringing good information to the public, the military, military families, police officers, their families, first responders, their families. Can someone please take care of the problem in Arizona? <sighs> okay, everybody stay cool. God bless everyone. Talk to you soon.